What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today is a very special edition of my Tech Tuesday videos. I am doing this on the day right after the Apple event. Uh, <laughs> I love the Apple events and today is the 15th of September 2020 and fingers crossed I have no issues with editing this and I can get it on YouTube before midnight so it's on the same day. <laughs> But uh, Apple did drop a big surprise on us. Uh, I don't think anyone was actually aware of this. If you were, congrats to you guys. I certainly was not aware of this. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna cover everything in this video. Uh, I've made some quick notes, so we're gonna go through everything that took place in this video. So we're gonna go through everything that took place in the keynote speech, and uh, let's just dive right in. Okay, so first of all, to get the ball rolling, Tim Cook came out and just straight away said this event is going to be Apple Watch and iPad focused. So kind of like, <laughs> you know, he kind of like gave it away that, okay, these are the only two products coming. So the first thing coming is Watch OS 7, which is going to be fantastic. Uh, it's got a lot of new features packed into it. Yes, yeah, so Watch OS 7 has been announced and that is now coming. We can expect lots of new features. Those include the new sleep tracking app, which uh, it looks all right, it looks okay, but it kind of looks more like, rather than uh, sleep tracking, it's kind of like sleep getting you into the habit of getting into a good sleep, if you know what I mean. Another feature coming to Watch OS 7 is the hand washing. And I don't know, I'm super hyped about that. <laughs> I really am. Oh, not just the fact that it looks kind of fun, but also um, I'd love to do a video on it just to test it out and see how it works. Uh, the big thing was uh, they announced, and I was expecting this one, and I'm sure you guys were too, um, little bits of it was surprising, which uh, we'll just talk about. So the Watch Series 6 is now coming. They have just announced that. Uh, it's going to be available to buy very soon. Watch Series 6 is coming in some new colours. That includes a blue, a new gold colour, a, a graphite colour, which is probably going to be the replacement for Space Grey, I reckon. And the surprising one to me was Product Red. Now, I don't know, I'm, I love red. Like, I love red everything, basically. I don't know, if it's kind of like a metallic red, might go for that, I might do, but it's just a bit flashy, you know, and I, I kind of like my... Uh... So the next big thing is that we're getting blood O2 monitoring on the Apple Watch. But uh, the feature works quite similar to the ECG feature, if you guys are aware of that one, and uh, it monitors your blood oxygen levels within 15 seconds. The Series 6 now comes with the S6 chip, which is now 20% faster than the S5. Uh, alongside the new watches and for previous models, there are gonna be new watch faces available. And there's a new style strap that's been announced, which is called the Solo Band. One of the features that uh, they announced, but didn't actually talk about, <coughs> is that the Apple Watch is now showing it as swim proof. So that looks like it's going to be specific to the Series 6 as well. Um, but they didn't go into too much detail, so we don't know for certain. Okay, so they've announced that uh, there's going to be a new, cheaper edition of the Apple Watch. Same features with the S5 chip inside, and it's starting at $279. Kind of aimed for children or elderly people. It's a, a cellular edition watch so they can actually use them without owning an iPhone. And you can actually set this up for friends and family. Or, I don't know if you'd give it to a friend, but definitely family members like you know grandparents or small children. You can set it up for them on your iPhone and monitor everything that they're doing too. So I think that works great. So something I thought they were gonna do with the iPhone, they've actually done for the first time with the Apple Watch. And that is that they have removed the USB charging from the box. It is a workout scheme which gives you access to all different workouts and you can do wherever you are, wherever you want. That is available for $9.99 a month or you can subscribe to that for $79.99 a month. And uh, one good thing is, as they did with the Apple TV service, if you buy a brand new Apple Watch, you get that service for three months for free. 
The second plan they released is something we heard about a long time ago. Thank you all the leakers on Twitter and YouTube that I've been uh, watching for the past year. Uh, you guys are great. I don't know where you get your information from, but you guys were spot on with this one. Apple One service plan is coming, which will include iCloud, Apple Music, TV Plus, Arcade, the News Plus in certain regions, and the Fitness Plus plan. And they are all going to be available for $14.95 a month and a more premium service, which ranges all the way up until $29.95 a month. Okay, so we got back to Tim Cook and he's announced that there is going to be a refresh to the entire iPad range. Uh, and the main focus of the iPad announcement. So first of all, the iPad, which is just called the iPad, which is the 10.2 inch display. That has now been updated to the eighth generation. It comes with an A12 Bionic chip, uh, which is going to be 40% faster than the previous generation. So that is pretty amazing. Big hitter here was the iPad Air getting a completely new redesign. Uh, the same design with the square boxy design of the iPad Pro over the past two years. Um, I think it looks fantastic. Um, this looks so good that it made me want to just consider buying an iPad Air. Whereas for the past two years I've been saying I really want the iPad Pro and I still haven't managed to get one. So the iPad Air now looks exactly like the iPad Pro from 2020 minus the uh, Pro camera display and the notch. So there's no face ID on this. Um, and there's just a single camera on the back of the iPad. The iPad Air is going to sport a 10.9 inch liquid retina display. Um, if you're wondering where you heard liquid retina before, it's from the iPhone XR that was released. One thing they quickly touched upon was the fact that it's got an anti-reflective coating on it. So not the same as most of the iPads on the market. Um, and that kind of reminded me of the nano textured screens that have just been coming out, especially with the new latest iMac that was released. Big surprise here with the iPad Air is that because it's all screen, there's no home button on the front of the iPad. There's actually now just a power button on the top of the iPad like you usually find. And Apple have finally done it. They've moved over to the next generation of Touch ID. Yep. That is right, Touch ID is now in that power button on the top of the iPad. We've been hearing rumors about this for so long that they were gonna announce this on something like the iPhone, get rid of Face ID, go back to Touch ID, but wow, they've finally done it, guys. And I don't know about you guys, but me personally, as much as I love Face ID, I kinda hope that we get both of those technologies on the iPhone. It's nice having Face ID when I can actually use it, but when nowadays, when I'm out and about, I've got my mask on, my face is covered. It's so annoying having to stand there and punch in my passcode like three times just to pay for something in a shop. The iPad Air is gonna be launched coming from $599. And uh, Tim Cook announced that iOS 14 is gonna be released tomorrow. That's right, today is the 15th of September, Tomorrow is the 16th of September, it is a Wednesday. Do they usually release operating systems on Wednesday? I think they do. Products are usually always Friday, which these ones will be. Friday this week, they're all gonna be available. We've been hearing mentions of AirTags for the past few years, definitely the past few months. Um, rumors and speculations have been building up. Unfortunately, there's been no AirTags. There was no mention of it. Nothing in the press releases, nothing in the video, nothing in the conference. So no guys, no air tags. But um, again, here's the hoping that they still come out in 2020. Apple might just be re Apple might just be keeping those for the actual Apple event. Apple might just be keeping those back for the iPhone event, which is now rumored to be happening in October, shortly before they release the iPhone, which unfortunately, due to the global circumstances, has been delayed. All right, so I finally did it. I finally did it. This is my Apple video. My first Tech Tuesday on an Apple conference. Three times I've tried to do this. Last year was a disaster, although I did film the whole video, edited it, and then it was just disaster after that. And then, yeah, this is gonna be better, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button, hit the like, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you're looking forward to the most and uh, any information that you guys know that I don't, love to hear from you. 
Love to hear from you. Start a conversation down below, guys. Peace. I'll see you in the next Tech Tuesday video. Thanks very much for watching, guys.